Oh my God, guys, the surprises keep on coming. The surprises keep on coming. Alistair Black, a.k.a. Tommy Hen, Tommy N, a.k.a. who's apparently now going by the name Medica Black, has made his debut in AEW by attacking Cody, by attacking R. Anderson and Cody Rhodes. What a way for him to come out. And the thing that shocks me about this is, is not only the fact that his wife just came back to WWE last week on SmackDown, but it's also shocking because if I'm not mistaken, his non-compete clause wasn't even over. His non-compete clause wasn't even over. It was like the end of mid-May, early June when he got released from WWE. Literally. Literally. He still had about a month or two left before he could even come to another company, if I'm not mistaken. He still had about a month or two left. And to see him come out and make a unbelievable debut in AEW was shocking. I did not see that coming. The first time the lights went out, you know, they were saying, oh, there's a, uh, there might be some, there's some weather problems going outside during the uh, Cody match with QT Marshall in the strap match, the lights went out, nothing happened. Then our Anderson comes to start talking with uh, Tony Giovanni, the lights go out again, and here comes here comes now going by the name Medica Black. Oh my God, guys, this really caught me off guard. I did not see this coming. I know that there have been talks about him going to AEW. I know there have been rumors about him coming to AEW, but I did not expect it to happen so soon. I did not expect it to happen at this but at this specific time, and how fitting is it for him to come to AEW on the same exact, uh, just directly a week after his wife made her return to the WWE and resigned and showed up on SmackDown last week on Friday Night SmackDown. So to see him come to AEW, of course, it's not the first time we've seen a couple split from two different promotions. We're saying that currently with Charlotte and her fiance, Adrade El and AEW. But this this really just came out of nowhere. I did not see this coming. This was just amazing. The lights went out and out comes uh, Medica Black now. You know, the fans are going wild because you finally got a full set of we finally got the crowd back. AEW's not even gone off yet, but I just want to come on here and talk about this really quickly. I know there's still two more matches to go in the main event before the show is over, but I just want to come on here and talk about this because I have to go to bed after this. But I want to come and talk about this because this was really unexpected, guys. I did not see this coming by a long shot. Again, I know there was rumors. I know there have been talk about it. But if I'm not mistaken, he still had about a month or two left before he could even show up to any other promotion, let alone re-sign with WWE because I also heard that they were trying to re-sign him because they thought it was a mistake. They felt it was a mistake to release him. But now this is their biggest loss because he's most definitely not re-signing now because now we see him in AEW with a whole new name now. Medica Black and what a way for him to come out setting his sights hitting a black mask I don't know if that's still the name he's going to use but for now I'll call it that unless he changes it because they didn't really have a name for it a new name for it but he hit a black mask on both R. Anderson and Cody Rhodes what a way for him to come out what a way for him to make his debut oh my god guys this is absolutely <laughs> it's crazy I mean wow I really, these debuts, returns, it's getting crazy. Wow, I really did not see that coming at all. He comes out, he looks completely amazing. Like, he looks really good, he comes out, and the fans are just going wild. The fans are just stunned, and I'm even stunned. My mouth drops seeing him in this capacity. And you gotta hope to wonder, you know, if his if the if the sights he sets first is gonna be on Cody, you know, since he attacked, um, you know, since he attacked R. Anderson, Cody Rose. I'm definitely looking forward to the matches they're gonna have. Get this uh, the stories, the matches they're gonna put this guy in AEW. 
I'm definitely looking forward to. He's a very unique character. I've always, you know, been on board with his character. So it's, you know, I'm really on board to see what he can bring to the table at AEW. This is really amazing. I did not see this coming. This really just kind of came out of nowhere, especially when, you know, he got released. It was, like I said, if I'm, it was like mid-May, early last month that they released him, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And the, the non-compete clause, you know, that usually applies to people that get fired. They usually have about three months before they can show up to another promotion. And I, his non-compete clause isn't even over, wasn't even over yet, to my knowledge, because... You know, he would have had to like August or September, but he mysteriously showed up now. And I really wonder how they were able to pull that off, you know, especially since he got fired. Now, if he would have quit and asked for his release or just left, that would have been one thing. It wouldn't really mattered. Uh, I think it only applies to guys that are released that they got to wait those 90 days. Like, you know, all the other people that got released in April, some of them, they've already been able to go to some other promotions, but then some you haven't seen um, you go anywhere. And then there's some that you might see uh, fall we know a Slammiversary show up. But the fact that he got released like a month or two after the April releases, um, it's really surprising because I, like I said, I could be wrong, but I really thought his he still had some time left before he can even show up on another show. Uh, so, like I said, I could be wrong on that, though. So don't doubt on me too much for that. But definitely, this was a really crazy way to see him come out. I did not expect him to come, and I'm definitely looking forward to see what he can bring to the table. And, you know, I'm, I'm on board whatever they – you know, put this man in. I'm definitely looking forward to this. This was really, man, I mean, you know, in the first way, roared rage, what they call it tonight. And man, a way to, what a way to get the crowd really on their feet, uh, you know, to have this happen. The first night we got the full, where well, they're finally on the road again in AW and you have a, a, a mysterious, surprising, shocking debut like this happened in AEW, a night where uh, Johnny Aledo made his debut. He, I mean, his in-ring debut, should I say, defeating Matt Sardell in a really good match. You know, Cody defeats QT Marshall. You know, like I said, this show's still going on, but uh, man, just just a really. Uh, man, what what a what a uh, what a debut! I'm still stunned right now. That's all I want to come on here and talk say because uh, man, this is this is something. Sound of a massive flex. It's gonna it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what he does from here. And uh, man, definitely did not see this coming, but um. Man, this I'm I'm digging this I'm digging this uh care this this new this new persona he's got in AEW now. Like he, you can tell that he's it's gonna be interesting seeing what they do with him moving forward. So um you know the way that he attacked our you know R. Anderson and and uh Cody Rose kinda confirms that he's coming in as a heel. So that's definitely um something different when you consider that when he was in NXT, he was actually, you know, he always had that same character, but he was actually a baby face for a long time. And it wasn't until Seth, like, kind of popped his eye out and kayfabe that he um, came back and was a heel. And, uh, you know, for him to come in AEW and kind of basically confirm that they're going to have him as a heel. So that's definitely a change in direction as well. Um, and I'm just looking forward to it. So, sign up for Master Flex, like, comment, subscribe. Man, guys, wow. And peace.